Hi folks, Tony Zink here. Today I'm going to talk about what is an enterprise project type in Project Online and Project Server. Regardless of whether you're using Microsoft's Project Online cloud service or their Project Server on-premise application, the concepts that I'm covering today can apply in either case. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I've got a really useful tool that I use for my clients Project Online and Project Server implementations that I'd like to share with you. So having said that, let's get started. So in Project Online and Project Server, there's a construct that we call Enterprise Project Types. If your department or division or company has certain types of projects that are repeatable or somewhat repeatable, then you have the ability to create project templates, if you will, that can encapsulate some of the repeatable aspects of those projects and make them easier to launch. These templates, or enterprise project types, allow you to take a handful of components and package them up into a nice little bundle for easier project setup in the system. Although an enterprise project type doesn't need to have all these components, it can include things like a project schedule or project plan template for detailing out the project's main deliverables, activities, and timeline, a project site template to give your team members a place to keep track of documents, issues, and risks, a series of forms or project detail pages to track important project attributes, and a process template, otherwise known as an electronic workflow for automating and controlling the overall management of a project. So for example, maybe your department has large projects and small projects that your folks run on a regular basis. So you decide to set up two enterprise project types in your system, one for large projects and one for small ones. Large projects are more complex, they have larger project teams, they have more activities to plan and track, and they carry higher risks. So you create a large project enterprise project type that bundles up a large project schedule template with more task detail, a project site template that's pre-populated with a bunch of document templates, an issues log, a risks log, a team member's directory, and an action items tracker, a set of project detail pages, or PDPs, that will act as forms for capturing and displaying several important project attributes for a large project, and an electronic workflow to guide the project team through a controlled set of phases and provide checkpoints along the way. Small projects, on the other hand, are much more simpler to deal with. So you create a small project, enterprise project type, that bundles up a small project schedule template with only a handful of milestones and tasks, a project site template that team members can use to share a few documents and track the occasional issue or risk, a simpler set of project detail pages, or PDPs, for tracking a few basic project attributes, and no electronic workflow since small projects are much more informal and don't need the rigor of a larger project. So whether you need to kick off a large project or a small one, your team will have a great start toward getting their new project up and running without creating all those things from scratch. Project Online and Project Server allow you to create all these components bundle them together into enterprise project types and make them available for people to easily select from a list. When it's time to set up a new project in the system, you can just navigate to the PWA Project Center, click the Projects tab in the upper left hand corner, and then click the New button at the left end of the Projects ribbon to expose the list of available enterprise project types in your system. As you can see here in my environment, I have a few different enterprise project types configured and ready for people to select. Small application, large application, small infrastructure, and large infrastructure. But you can configure as many or as few as you need to make your project team's jo jobs easier. I'm going to come back later and show you how to set up enterprise project types in a live environment, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we're all set. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you've got any questions on this topic, please feel free to ask them down in the comments section. Now to help make your job of configuring and administering a little bit easier, I'd like to share with you a tool that I use for designing and documenting Project Online and Project Server implementations, my Configuration Blueprint template. I've been using and fine-tuning this template for over 15 years, and now you can use it to design and capture every single application configuration setting for your Project Online or Project Server implementation. And although I don't think anybody actually enjoys doing documentation, I know I don't, if you've got to do it, then at least this tool can make it a lot easier for you. So if you'd like to download my configuration blueprint template for free, then visit my site at tonyzink.com forward slash blueprint and grab it today. Thanks again, and good luck.